Hello everyone, welcome back to Blockman Editor Tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. When the game we make needs to have different teams, we can try to use the team settings in the editor. Enter the editor, click the game settings button in the upper right corner to open the game settings window. In this video, we will create two teams as an example. In the basic setting, we adjust the number of players from 2 to 6. This means that each game will have a minimum of 2 players and a maximum of 6 players. Then adjust the duration for waiting for players to enter to 10 seconds. This means that at the beginning of each game, players will get matched up to 10 seconds. After adjusting the basic settings, click the team tab to enter the team settings. Let's check the automatic team matching first. After checking this attribute, when a player enters the game, the player will be automatically assigned to a team. The rule of assignment is based on the proportion of the maximum number. Note that if you want the editor to implement the logic of automatically assigning teams, you must check the attribute, automatic team matching. For the attribute can deal damage to teammates, if checked players from the same team, can also deal damage to each other. Of course, we do not check it in most cases. Since we haven't created a team yet, the team list is still empty. Click the Add Team button on the right, let's add a team first. After successfully adding a team, let's take a look at what attributes can be set for a team. ID is the unique identification of each team, which can be modified but cannot be repeated. Team name is the name of each team and can be modified. You can set a different UI icon for each team in, team icon, so as to distinguish different teams. When we check enable team waiting point and set the coordinate position of team waiting position. All members of the current team will be spawned at this position during game matching and preparation stages. This means that the team waiting position will override the spawn point set in the basic settings. When we check Enable Team Spawn Point and set the coordinate position of Start Coordinates, all members of the current team, after the game officially starts, will be spawned at this position. This means that the Start Coordinates will override the Spawn Position set in the basic settings. Maximum number is the maximum amount of players the current team can hold. It should be noted that the maximum number in all teams in the game cannot exceed the maximum number of players set in the basic settings. For set whether team uses same model. If we check this attribute, then all members of the team will have a unified character model appearance after entering the game. Finally, if we want to adjust the order of teams in the team list, or delete a team, we can click the options button in the upper right corner of each team, and operate in the small pop-up window that appears. Next, we will demonstrate the process of creating a team and the effect when running. There are two teams in the game. When the player enters the game, they are automatically matched to different teams, and are born in the area where the team they belong to is located. First, we place two parts in the scene, and adjust their position, orientation and size. Change the color of one of the parts to red and the other to blue. Then, open the game settings, switch to the team settings, check the automatic team matching. Add two teams to the team list, then adjust the attributes of each team. Set the team waiting position, and start coordinates of the first team to the position of the red part. Set the team waiting position, and start coordinates of the second team to the position of the blue part. After completing the settings, let's run and check the effect. We can click the drop down menu button next to the run button in the upper right corner, where we can select the number of players to test. Since we are two teams, select two players to join the game and click the run button. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you on your way to a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.